Hey, 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 good looking, no one sit there and see what we have cooking today in my kitchen. Well, grab a hold of that vine, swing right on in my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Hey there, good looking. I'm so glad that you came into my kitchen today because, boy, do I have one hell of a special recipe that I'm going to be sharing with all of you. Now, we all heard of burnt ends, right? Well, we're going to be making a very special chicken butt nugget burnt ends. Now, I have some chicken breast here. We're going to go ahead, chunk it up, just like what we did with the chicken butt nuggets canning recipe. But the only thing different is we're going to encase them in some very special seasoning mix. Now, remember... I showed you how to make them Cajun pretzels while we have some leftover uh, spice mixture from them. That's what we're going to be using up. And then also we're going to be using some of this McCormick's uh, Grill Mate Smokehouse Maple Seasoning. Let me tell you. This is some good stuff. Along with some brown sugar. And then, oh, the best part of it. I'm going to be sitting there showing you how to make up a glaze with apricot preserves and some jellied uh, cranberry sauce. Now, usually I would sit there and use my canned apricot jelly and my home canned cranberry, but I understand not everybody sits there and cans up that stuff. So, I want to make this easy so everybody can make this recipe. That's why I'm showing the canned up versions here. And, oh yeah. We are going to be needing some brown sugar. But first, let's go ahead and make this special glaze out of the apricot preserves and the jellied cranberry sauce. Now, I already went ahead, I pre-measured a half of a cup of the apricot preserves and roughly a half of a cup of the cranberry sauce. Now, we're just going to sit there and mix these two up. So, take your time when you're mixing them up. Then I have to break up all that sauce so it mixes up into the apricot preserves. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Let me get the camera just a little bit lower. There we go. So, like I said, take your time when you're... Mixing this all up. And let me tell you, you've never had burnt ends like this before. Okay. There's our glaze. Look at that. Oh. As you see, I have it all nicely mixed up. Now, we're just going to set this off to the side. 
I'm going to go ahead and we're going to chunk up. And this time I'm using chicken breast, but we're going to go ahead, open it up. I'm going to chunk it up. And then we're going to sit there and put the brown sugar, the McCormick Grill Meats Smokehouse Maple Seasoning. And like I said, that Cajun mix that I showed you how to mix up for them Cajun pretzels. So, let me go ahead and chunk up the chicken. My chicken is still a little bit partially frozen, but that's okay. We're going to sit there and grab that frozen chicken, and I'm just going to come right down the middle, and we're going to cut each half of these chicken nuggets in half. Just like we do with this one. So I'm going to do the same with this one. This is also going to help it defrost a lot faster. So now, I'm just going to chunk this all up. Okay, I went sliced it up like this. Let me just move some of these over to the side. And we're just going to, like I said, chunk them up. This way, it's going to help defrost them a little bit faster so I can get on with the recipe. So... I'm going to continue chunking up these little butt nuggets because I don't know if I told you I'm putting together an Easter basket for my adult kids it's a redneck basket and it's just a play on words but basically, these are just chicken bird dance that we're going to be doing. I mean, I've done so many different types of burnt ends. I mean, I made burnt and hot dogs. I believe I have a recipe for that up on the web here. Like I said, I've done so many different versions. I haven't done brat burnt ends. So, you don't have to sit there and watch me cut all these up. Our chicken breasts are all cubed up. Now, I'm just going to grab some of these. I have just one of them disposable uh, tins. Let's go ahead and put some of these chicken breast right in there. A few more. There we go. Like 
Casey, just put a few in disposable tin. We're going to add some of the brown sugar. You don't need that much. We just need just a tad. So. That's just a little too much, but we'll make do. Now I'm just going to come in here, break these apart. I'm going to sit there and toss them all with my breast meat that we have in here. And we're going to want to encase all these cubed up chicken nuggets. With that brown sugar mixture. Okay, just like what we did here. Now I'm going to go wash my hands. Next, I'm going to get my Cajun seasoning. Now, if you want that recipe, it's easily found with the Cajun pretzel recipe that I put out. So I'm going to take a good sprinkling. We're going to sprinkle that. And we're also going to mix all that up with these chicken nuggets. Put that back off to the side. And let me tell you, I sat there and worked really hard at this recipe. Me and my old man were enjoying it immensely. And I finally got it down to a perfection the way that we like it. Now, I'm going to go wash my hands again. Now that I have clean hands, I'm going to open up. The McCormick Grill Mate Smokehouse Maple Seasoning. And give that a good sprinkling. Maybe add like a half of a teaspoon. You know, also it all depends upon your personal preference. Okay. Now, you got it. We're going to sit here and just make sure... Every piece is covered with all these goodness that's inside this pan. And you know me, when I'm canning something, I always partially cook my meat. I just think it looks prettier in the jar. I think you get a better nugget in the end. But that's just me. Now, if you don't want to sit there and par cook yours, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to. I'm just telling you what I do with all mine. So, I'm going to sit there and take these over to my air fryer. And we're just going to partially cook these. So let me go wash my hands and we'll get to the next step. Okay. I dug out the recipe of the Cajun seasoning. What's all in here is two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons oregano, or you could use thyme. One tablespoon kosher salt, one tablespoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, and two to three seeds or two to three 
tablespoons of that ranch seasoning mix that I showed you how to make. That's what's all in here. Or that's the basis of the recipe. I've been using this for a lot of things. And we have it all mixed up in here. Now, I'm going to grab my air fryer. And we're just going to sit there and plop this uh, aluminum tie plate in there. We're going to sit there and insert this into my air fryer. I have it on air fry at 400 degrees. And we're just going to partially air fry them. We're not going to air fry them the whole way. Let's just take a look at how I par cook them. Didn't take much. So I'm just going to take these out. And I have another pie plate over here. And we're just going to put these par cooked ones right into it. Okay, let's just grab these and toss them right on into our pan over here. Now remember, I didn't cook these all up. I just par-cooked them. So, let me transfer these all over to this other pie plate and I'm going to continue to cook up or par cook the rest of these uh, burnt in butt nuggets I'm going to kind of quick put these things all away and we're going to somewhat get set up for the canning procedure of these so let me do all that, and we'll be right back. Okay. I have it somewhat set up for the canning. I'm just going to put my tongs off to the side for the time being. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. Now, you saw that I par-cooked the chicken. Now, I'm going to give my sauce one last little twirl of the spoon grab some of that sauce now we're going to dump some of that sauce right over our butt nuggets our burnt and butt nuggets and we're going to give that all a toss I mean, let's just sit there and add the rest of this. That way they all get nicely coated with this. Oh, I tell you, this apricot uh, cranberry sauce. Oh, it's really good. So I'm just going to scrape my bowl just one last time. Try to get the last of that goodness all out. Now, I'm just going to move this up so we can sit there. And you can sit there and watch me mix up that sauce and try to get it encased on every luscious coat every one of these butt nuggets with some of that gorgeous sauce mm. baby girl you know you're allergic to apricots yeah baby doll I can't have any You'll break out. 
Mama don't want you having the hives. I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Put the debubbler down. Let me reposition the camera. Oh. It just smells so divine in this kitchen. I know my boys are going to love this. So, let's fill up our canning jars. I don't know if y'all heard, but buy up your chicken now because there's going to be a chicken shortage. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to bump the camera. But by now, you know, I am notorious for that. Give yourself one inch headspace. I'm going to finish filling up the other jar. Mm. Man. I don't know if I want to share these. I'm going to have to hide them from my old man, I can tell you that. <laughs> mm. Like I said, you're going to want at least a good one inch head space. And I have that. So I'm just going to run my deep bubbler down into the jars. Oh, baby doll. You know you can't have no apricot. Okay. Now, I, I know I keep showing you this. My real special new toy this canning season, and I'm really enjoying it. I got a washcloth because I'm not using paper towels anymore because everything is just skyrocketing in price. And I'd rather sit there and put the expense that would have cost me so much money to buy paper towel. And I would rather put that towards a meat purchase. So there, our rims of our jars have been cleaned. Now, I'm going to grab my canning lids. We're going to put them on. Grab my canning rings. We're going to get them on as well. Finger tighten. Oh, look at that. I wish I had just a little bit more to put in there, but that's okay. Now, let me tell you, these would go great with my German potato salad that I showed you how all to can them up. So, 
Let me go and get my Instant Pot Max pressure canner out, get it all set up, and we're going to pressure can these burnt and chicken butt nuggets. <laughs> I locked my cover on. It's building up the pressure. I have it set for Fahrenheit. And I already have my altitude programmed in. The inside of the Instapot Max is 77 degrees right now. Now, it's going to build up enough pressure to where it's going to... So right now we're at 99. Like I say, I'm paying the closest attention to the temperature. I want it in the 240 to 250 uh, degree range. That way I know any botulism spores are going to be killed in the pressure canning process. And I'm hoping to be able to show you a lot of the process along the way. But I also have a premiere video of mine coming out. So I may not be able to sit there and show you everything that I wanted. But let me tell you, I love my Instapot Max electric canner. I can't say enough about it. See, and there's that bell. Just like on your big old stove top pressure canner. Here they are, taken out of the Instapot Max pressure canner. Now we're going to leave these sit undisturbed for 24 hours. Then I'm going to come back. We're going to remove the canning rings. We're going to give the jars a good wash. And then I'm going to label them up and off to the pantry shelves they go. So, if you liked this recipe on burnt and chicken butt nuggets, go ahead, give me a big old thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're a new subscriber to my channel, welcome. If not, please go up, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time. I do put out a new video, and as always, here's to happy canning, but better yet, happy eatings. Y'all come back now, you hear?